The city of Chicago is the backdrop for an historic afternoon of the international sport of team handball. And if you haven't seen team handball before, you're in for a treat. We're at the Pavilion at the University of Illinois at Chicago as Team USA takes on the national club champions from Los Angeles. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Chicago. I'm Ken Tomash, along with former U.S. national teamer John Ryan. John, for those out there watching who haven't seen this sport before, what can they expect from team handball? Well, you can call it water polo without water, uh, hockey without sticks, soccer with your hands, whatever you're calling. Get ready for an action-packed action match of handball. It is a lot of fun. We'll see the U.S. national team making its American television debut against a great team from Los Angeles. It's coming up after this. Today's game is brought to you by Snap Sports Courts and Surfaces, by Grundfos, by Jivietz Beer, by Sobieski Vodka, and by USA Team Handball. There are a lot of ways to get past that 2.30 feel. Get another cup of coffee, a little cold water on the face, more coffee, whatever that is, or take one five-hour energy. People choose 5-Hour Energy over 6 million times per week. It's quick, effective, and made to help hardworking people like you get past their 2.30 or 3.30 or 4.30. 5-Hour Energy. Hours of energy now. No 2.30 feeling later. Sarah Kustak and Chris Bowden inviting you to join us for Sports Night. The Sox look to salvage a series split with the Twins. And we'll preview Sunday night's series finale between the Cubs and Phillies. It's all on Sports Night tonight at 6.30. This site has a four-star hotel for $159. Should I try Priceline instead? No. It's a sale. Nothing beats a sale. Wrong move. You. You could save up to half off that sale when you name your own price on Priceline. But this one's a deal. Trust me, it's only pretending to be a deal. Here, bid $79. Got it. Wow. You win this time, good twin. There's no disguising the real deal. Tune in to Comcast Sportsnet as the Cubs make a second half push for October. While the first half may not have gone as planned, Lee, Soriano, and Ramirez look to turn things around with hopes of winning the NL Central crown. It's Cubs baseball, and the most games are on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. Everyone's always talking about Safe Auto and how great Just In Case is. Sure, he can give you step minimum coverage in under 10 minutes. He's there 24-7, he cuts out the middleman, and he doesn't do credit checks. But can he do this? You gotta have coverage, you wanna save money. Do both at 1 800 Safe Auto or SafeAuto.com. Welcome back to the UIC Pavilion, everybody. Ken Tomash and John Ryan with you for an historic day, the American television debut of the U.S. men's national team as they take on the national club champions, the Los Angeles Team Handball Club. John, this is a bit of a contrast in styles. We talk about club soccer ver or club handball versus international handball. This is a team, this Los Angeles team, made up of a lot of different nationalities, guys who get together and play a lot at the club level. And as you look at their starting lineup, it's very experienced, but a very, very good side. It is. You've got uh, several players that uh, played back in their home countries before they moved to the United States. Uh, you've got uh, uh, a couple of new players that they've also brought into their squad. But for the most part, they're going to rely on uh, their left back, Armin Amerkanian. He's a... Uh, uh, Iranian of uh, 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 Armenian descent, an outstanding player with uh, a lot of international experience. And as you look at Team USA's lineup, uh, it's a younger lineup, very athletic lineup, and some guys who have played together at club and college level as well. Yes, they, they have played together. There's a lot of West Point uh, graduates that have played together some. Uh, you also have Adam Elzogby, who is uh, uh, American, has an American passport, but uh, has lived most of his life in Egypt. Um, the, the, the interesting styles, the interesting contrast here is the, the U.S. national team has not played a game in several, several months, so they're, they're still feeling each other out, uh, whereas the Los Angeles team is a club team, so they're used to playing with each other. In fact, they uh, won the national championships a couple months ago. There you see number 11, Mark Ortega, who is actually in the national team pool and has played internationally for the U.S. Today, he, uh, he is playing for the U.S., but he also plays his club ball for L.A., so he knows the guys on the L.A. team. And he'll be mic'd up this afternoon. Uh, we'll hear what goes on on the court. You see 
starting goalkeeper there, David Thompson for the U.S. You saw our officials, Lars Yetterman Jorgensen and Tugamir Anusic, and we're just about set to go. We are underway. The Los Angeles team is in blue, and they will be moving from left to right across your screen here in the first half of play, the first of two 30-minute halves, and the clock runs almost continuously. The kind of strategy we'll see, you'll see a lot of quick passing, quick shots like that one from Jose Fuentes, the first save of the day by David Thompson, and now the U.S. will go on offense. They'll work things out of the back. It was Brian Walsh, the center back, who kind of runs the show, kind of equivalent to a point guard in basketball. He's number seven out up top. USA moving a little bit more deliberately. Adam Elzogby back to Walsh. Walsh from the top of that nine-meter arc. And we've got our first foul of the game. And quickly, L.A. will take advantage of the restart and try to fast break, but it, uh, they took it a little bit too quickly. Yeah, you have to start the ball from where the referee points it. You can't just, uh, you can't just uh, pick up the ball and go. Goalkeeper Mariano Molteni starting in the Nets for Los Angeles. Again, the team in blue from L.A. won the National Club Championships in Las Vegas in May. Very good team. Jose Fuentes gets it off to Amar Armarcanian. Armarcanian is hammered there by Ahmed Saad. First foul of the game, and when there's a foul, the free throws get taken from that broken line at nine meters away from the goal. Luka Ravich now will take a dribble, and he'll get hammered there by yeah. Walsh, and that'll set up another free throw. And, and keep in mind, a free throw, think, think like a soccer free kick. Yeah, it's a it's restart. A simply a, it's simply a restart uh, the, at the nine-meter line if it's inside there, and the players have to be three meters from the ball. Amerkanian with a shot, and again, Thompson makes the save and puts it over the goal. These goals, interestingly enough, were imported from Poland, uh, and so they've come all the way from Poland just to be here today for this match. Here's Walsh. It's it off to El Zogby. Now into the pivot. Yeah, outstanding pass into the outstanding pass into the pivot, uh, and uh, a foul there by the uh, U.S. team is going to result in a penalty shot. Here's where you see a throw from seven meters. You'll see this when a when a scoring chance is destroyed by a foul, uh, a seven meter throw is awarded. The goalkeeper has to stay on his line or behind it, and you'll see stuff like that. First goal of the match, and it goes to Ahmed El Zogby. Adam El Zogby, he's uh, of Egyptian descent, but born in the U.S. and playing for the U.S. national team, and he gets the first goal of this match. Fuentes now. Lurkiewicz. Quick shot, bounces off the floor, and Thompson will keep it in play. Now Ahmed Saad gets it to Brian Walsh. Saad now back to Walsh. Boyan Arunutovic. Paul Justin Key is on left wing. Walsh with a shot and he scores. Nice shot there from the backcourt. Ryan Walsh played at Army. He's a former lacrosse player. You'll see that a lot of team handball players come from other sports. They originally played other sports, discovered team handball, fell in love with it. Brian Walsh, who we'll talk more about over the course of the afternoon, was a lacrosse player before discovering Team Handball while at West Point. Breaking in and another shot by Amer Kane and another save by David Thompson. Uh, uh, another save and uh, stepped on the line there. If you step on the six meter line, it's a turnover to the other team. So now Team USA leading two to nothing. They're working deliberately, and doesn't that actually play John into LA's favor because they're a more veteran team that may not be able to run quite as yeah, much? Exactly. They'll they'll be happy to, to play a half court game. Not so happy to to run uh, with the much younger US, USA national team. That was Adam El Zogby with the shot, and now LA back the other way. Jose Fuentes at the top of the arc loses the ball, but he's fouled there, and we'll have a free throw. Not quite five minutes gone in the first half of this match in the UIC Pavilion. Ken Tomash and John Ryan with you. Los Angeles in blue against Team USA in red. Juris Lukarevich got it to Jose Fuentes, and Fuentes was tied up there by Trevor Williams, so another free throw coming for Los Angeles. I'll bounce it down in the corner, and Mika Manola, their 46-year-old but ageless wonder, an all-time leading scorer, tied up there, free throw. 
Fuentes now to Lukarevich. You'll see players dribble the ball like in basketball, and you'll see quick shots like that from Jose Fuentes, who gets L.A. on the board. It's 2-1. And just like that, the action does go right back down to the other end. They don't dilly-dally with restarts after a goal. We're right back to action now. Paul Justin Key on left wing. Adam L. Zogby will get it back to Brian Walsh. He loses the handle, and L.A. has it, and here comes the break. Amon Amerkanian tries to get around a defender, and he tried to connect with Mika Manolo over there, but it went out of play. And Alex Mullen there, number four, says that's my fault. And L.A. will take this throw in from deep in the corner. The yeah, USA did a good job of getting back on defense that time, uh, preventing the fast break goal. Luka Ravich now tied up hard in the pivot by Walsh. This is a very physical game. You'll see lots of bear hugs, especially when it gets down into the pivot right there. Jeff Smith, a native Californian, tied up there. Yeah, Defense-wise, it, it plays a lot like a uh, basketball defense with the uh, added benefit that you can use your hands and grab the other guy as long as you keep him in front of you. Another foul there. And this is the first game of an historic doubleheader. The national teams of Germany and Poland will play after this one. Manula scores to tie the game. Yeah, Mik uh, Mika did a good job there of uh, finding an opening. The, the shot wasn't so hard. It was just the fact that the goalie did not have a good view. The, he was kind of screened out by his own defense. You'll see substitutes come in and out. As long as they come through the substitution zone, they can substitute fairly dynamically like you might see in hockey or in indoor soccer. So you'll see fresh legs come on and off. Here's Walsh from nine meters inside to the six, and he's tied up there by Fuentes. And looks like Fuentes took the worst of the exchange, actually. Now Brian Walsh. Walsh will try a shot from nine meters that rattles in. That is an impressive backcourt shot there from nine to 10 meters. Uh, the LA team's gonna need to come on out and uh, put a hit on them before he can get such a clean shot off. Second goal of the game for Walsh, and he gives Team USA a 3-2 lead. Just over 22 and a half minutes left in the first half, and we've got a foul in the pivot. Quickly the free throw taken, a little too quickly again. Yep, too quickly and from the uh, wrong spot. You're always looking for that little advantage if you can get it, aren't you, John? Absolutely. Sometimes you get away with, uh, with a quick restart like that. Luka Ravich up top to Fuentes. Fuentes takes a dribble, gets it off to Amarna Amerkanian. Amerkanian has to dish to Luka Ravich. Now, the referee, if you might, if you notice, the referee raised his hand. That was a signal for what is called passive play. There is no shot clock in handball. However, you have to make an attack after an indeterminate amount of time. It's, it's up to the referee's discretion as to when, that, when the other team is not playing aggressively. So there's no four corners like there used to be in basketball before the shot clock, and you can't simply stall with the ball. So we want to see legitimate attempts at goal. And uh, speaking of goal, Boyan Arnotovic. Yeah, again, the, the, the LA team is not coming out uh, defensively to, to, uh, to meet the uh, shooters. They're, they're getting too clean of shot there from the backcourt. Michael Hinson's just checked in for LA. A center back from Georgia Tech, number four. He left-handed that one off to Fuentes, and Fuentes scores. Fuentes' is second goal of there, the match. There, we have a fast restart. And Walsh. Excellent, excellent uh, fast restart there by the U.S. LA did get back, and Jeff Smith, number 12 there, took a tumble, but it results in a, free, in a free throw, but at least not the fast break, which, as we mentioned, LA would, would be in a world of hurt if they were trying to run with these guys all day. Off to Walsh. El Agbi. Down in the corner. Key. El Zogby. Had that one go out. Yeah, it went on, I believe it went off the, the foot of... Uh, Foot out the LA player so that they'll, they'll take the ball in. Nope, we have a, it's just a foul. Just a uh, nine meter. Jason Borchik takes that off to Paul Justin Key. Key's number 17. Up top to Arnutovic. Back into the pivot. Nice play there by Alex Mullen, but a nice stop there. And no, it is a goal. No, no, no goal there. Nope. He picked up the ball while it was still in the six meter line on the ground. You cannot do that. You can, you can hit it with your, hit it with your hand, but you cannot pick it up if it's on the, on the, uh, floor inside the six meter line. USA four, LA three, just over 20 minutes left in the first half. 
Fuentes again. They're getting a lot out of him in the pivot. That one missed, but we had a whistle. And a restart coming here. Jose Fuentes, 35 years old from Spain. Already with three goals today, all three goals for Los Angeles. Hinson tries to work on the nice behind the back pass, a little showmanship, but not quite as effective as he would have liked. Here's Hinson now. Bounces it down in the corner to Eric Weller. Again to Paul Justin Key. Top to Walsh. Walsh pushed there by Jeff Smith. Muscles his way through. And we're going to have not only a seven meter throw, but a yellow card. Yeah. Soccer fans will recognize that. It has the same basic connotation. A yellow card, a warning, and he's going to be sent off for two minutes. But first, we'll have the seven meter throw here. Boyan Onuchevich. Yeah, actually, no two-minute penalty at that for for this. Uh, okay. At this time, just uh, just a yellow warning card. Oh, Nutovic missed high. Now Ahmed Saad has checked in. Big Egyptian number three. Looks like he will work in the pivot for Team USA. LA's coach Patrick Trudinger giving some instructions to Armin Amerkanian, who's got the ball now. Gets it back. Now Fuentes, right to Hinson, to Weller, back up top to Amerkanian, tries to dish there to Fuentes and does. Hinson with a left-handed pass that gets away. They're gonna have to try to keep that one in play and can't do it. Nope, they're in trouble here, the goalie's out. And they just couldn't get it restarted in time. Jason Borchik, number 10, had trouble getting it underway, but now we're back to action. Key off to Arnutovic, Walsh, Adam El Zogby. El Zogby gets fouled. And Borchik will restart it to El Zogby. Arnutovic. Key steps inside. Nice wrister, but it's saved by Mariano Molteni. And here comes LA back the other way. Jose Fuentes now. Thinks better of the shot. Gets it off to Hits, and the shot is saved by David Thompson. Well, this is where U.S. should really try and push the ball up and try and catch L.A. sleeping just exactly like that. Jason Borchik with his first goal of the afternoon puts LA, the U.S. team up 5-3 now. You see, just over 17 minutes left in the first half. Jeff Smith departs, and Andres Espinosa is in number 14 he'll take the restart there you see mariano Molteni, the goalkeeper number 21 getting a drink while the action's at the other end but he better hustle back because as we've seen things can change in a hurry in this game jose fuentes fakes the shot off to amerkanian fuentes has it back and his shot does go in so fuentes has been very active here in the first 15 minutes of this match, it's 5-4, Team USA. And Fuentes has three goals. Walsh looks, dishes, loses the handle, but a foul call. Walsh buries one in the back of the net. Nice shot again. LA needs to come out and hit those guys at nine meters. They can't just let them shoot so open at that area they're gonna get they're gonna get burned by a player like Brian Wall. His third goal of the afternoon he's playing like a man possessed and again a usual score a reasonable score could see both teams in the 20s or maybe even the 30s if it's a wide open game if you've never seen team handball before Amerkanian dishes it inside but Andres Espinosa gets fouled there you see number 14 29 year old Californian David Thompson comes up with that one and starts and, and you the break. Can, you can see the better conditioning of the U.S. team right there uh, as they had uh, four guys out front, and they really should get a goal in that situation. Left-handed shot by Alex Mullen, saved by Mariano Moltini, 
And L.A. now down 6-4 with just over 15 minutes left in the first half from the UIC Pavilion in Chicago. Amon Amerkanian gets sandwiched there right at the six-meter line. Free throw there. Jose Fuentes has it to Michael Hinson. Eric Weller back to Hinson. Dishes to Fuentes. Fakes the shot but gets it into the pivot, but it's right off the hand of Andres Espinosa. Team USA back the other way, but... A sloppy pass there. Amar Fast Caney break the other way. Read it well. Off to Fuentes, and he goes top shelf for his fourth goal of the afternoon. Gets L.A. within one at 6-5. That's where you see a little bit of the, the contrasting experience. The, the U.S. team is in, 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 in pretty good physical condition. They're, they have the advantage on the fast breaks, but, you know, one sloppy pass, and it's, a, it's an easy goal for the other team. A couple of subs off the USA bench. Jason Borchik returns. He's in the pivot, number 10. Has the ball and dishes it off for the shot. And the that's off the post by T.J. Giordano. Now LA, one of the rare times they will fast break, but it's not there, so they'll wait for reinforcements. And now we see Taha Youssef, number 10, check in. He's from Bahrain. Down in the corner, Manula tried to spin that one in, but it was off the side netting. Yeah, difficult shot there, a little bit too far down there on the wing. Team USA in red, leading Los Angeles in blue, 6-5. We're just past halfway through the first half of play from the UIC Pavilion. Here's TJ Giordano, number 19. Carson Chun has checked in. There he is, number eight. Played at Air Force. Shot and a save by TJ Giordano. Mariano Moltini comes up with the save, and Giordano's had a couple of shots denied in the last minute or so. And Antoine Bowie comes in off the L.A. bench. He's number one. So not a huge lineup in now for Los Angeles. They've got a couple of guys who are not as tall as your typical team handball player. A foul there. Espinosa restarts it to Amerkanian. Bounces one in there, but Thompson comes up with it. Quick moving first half. Team USA leads Los Angeles 6-5. U.S. national team in red. Paul Justin Key dishes it off. Excellent ball movement by Team USA there. Adam L. Zogby with his second goal of the afternoon. And they pretty much left the L.A. team flat-footed there. What happens a lot is you get the, you get the players moving side to side, and then you have a, a big opening like that often comes available. Team USA's lead is 7-5. They run a lot of things through Amon Armarcadian, and as he dishes that one inside to Andres Espinosa, Espinosa gets fouled, and a yellow card as well. Bowie. Jamil Abdullah goes down at the top of the arc. Uh, somebody must have uh, stepped in on the six meter line there. Now Team USA, again moving right to left. Carson Chun, it's number eight. Paul Justin Key on left wing, looked inside but couldn't find a man. Adam El Zogby again. Nice. Chun with a nice fake, nice but a fake. nice kick he, save by Multani. Yeah, just needs to finish it, but that was an excellent fake, giving him a wide open shot at six. Again, Chun, and this time he gets tripped up and falls into the area. Yep, we'll have a we'll have a penalty shot here. Seven meter throw. Look at this. He was a point guard in high school in Hawaii. So he's got the quickness and moves and vision to be a very effective player. Number eight, Carson Chung. Uh, the shot goes wide there. Al Zogby missed, that's the second missed seven meter throw and you should convert most of those, shouldn't you, John? Well, y you're not gonna ha convert them as often as you would, for instance, a, a soccer penalty shot, but you should convert 70 to 80% of them. Team USA 0 for two to this point. 10-20 left, first half. USA up seven to five, and tied up in the pivot there is Jamil Abdullah, number nine. 
Amerkanian with a shot, but we had a foul first. USA has uh, extended their defense a little bit. They have Carson Chun playing uh, playing more of a point defense. Uh, earlier they've been playing with a standard 6-0, which means six players on the line. Now they are playing a 5-1 defense. Amerkanian tried to slip inside. And we'll have LA's first seven meter throw after that scoring opportunity was destroyed by a foul. Mika Manula looking for his second goal of the afternoon. Again, he's got to keep a foot on that seven meter line and the goalkeeper's got to stay at four. And Manula scores his second and gets LA within one at seven six. The 46 year old Finn. Well, he admits to being 46 anyway. We don't know, we may have to carbon date him just to be sure, but he sh doesn't play like a 46 year old. Carson Chun now. Giordano tried to float one and it went a little bit high over the bar. Yep. There you see Patrick Troninger, coach of Los Angeles. The national club champions beat the New England Freeze in Las Vegas in May to claim that title. Carson Chun now running the show up top to TJ Giordano. It was Brian Lucas on the left wing, number six. Nice dish by Chun to El Zogby. Adam El Zogby We've now. We've got passive play. They had to shoot there. And a save again nice. by Mariano Moltini. Oh. Outstanding rebound and dish off to Adam El Zogby. El Zogby with his third goal of the afternoon. You see Moltini is down. Los Angeles does have Gabe Goudreau, who is an outstanding young goalkeeper who is in the U.S. national team pool, but they started Moltini. As you see, Derek Heath, and if there is such thing as a, a legend of American team handball, Derek Heath is it. A yeah. veteran of a couple hundred internationals and a former Olympian. Yeah, if he's not the uh, best all-time U.S. player, he's certainly within the, in the top five. Now coaching the national team, Amron Amerikanian. Nobody was going to stop that. His first goal of the afternoon. And David Thompson had no chance. It's 8-7. Team USA leads. Carson Chun now dishes off to TJ Giordano. Giordano rattles the post, and Chun gets fouled from behind by his opposite number, Jose Fuentes, at the six meter line. Off the restart, Carson Chun now. Adam El Zogby to Alex Mullen. Team USA working deliberately. Lucas put that off to Chun. Finds Al Zogby. Al Zogby gets hammered there. Quick restart by the Americans. Oh, stepped on the six meter line. Nobody can go into the goalkeeper's area inside that six meter arc except the goalkeeper. Back the other way. Jamil Abdullah. Back up top to Fuentes. Amerkanian. Amerkanian. Tied up there by Al Zogby. Off the restart. Fuentes. Six fifteen to go. First half of play from the UIC Pavilion in Chicago. It's Team Los Angeles in blue and the U.S. national team in red. And we'll have yet another yellow card. Taha Youssef. Youssef hammered there by T.J. Giordano. Fuentes' shot was directed off the mark. A, co a combination of a good defense by the U.S. and a little bit of a, a lethargic offense by L.A. Mad scramble for the ball at yeah. the six. If yard, we're not going to get a passive mark. play call, we're going to get one pretty soon. Off the restart, that one's bounced high by Taha Youssef.
TJ Giordano, top to Carson Chun. Giordano has it back. Chun. Al Zogby. Giordano fakes the shot, but gets it off onto the wing. And Jason Borshik just leveled there. Time running out here in the first half. We're under five minutes left. Jason Borchik, 22-year-old from Ohio. Giordano to Chun. El Zogby. You get it down in the corner. And Alex Mullen tried to spin one in there with the left hand, but Mariano Moltani has been terrific in this first half. Now Los Angeles with a chance to tie it up. Down 8-7, just over four minutes left, first half. Antoine Bowie. Find Jose Fuentes. Taha Youssef was looking to spin that one behind him. Jamil Abdullah fouled there. And the restart by Jeff Smith. Amerikanian thinks better of the shot, dishes it off onto the wing. It's kind of a common strategy. You'll see guys try to draw defenders in sure. to the pivot and then dish to one of the wingers who are very athletic and can get up high and shoot from weird angles. Seems like Team USA here has a definitive size advantage. Oh, definitely. This trip down the floor. Yeah, you can just you can just look out there and you see that they've got a four or five inch average advantage height wise. Brian Lucas on the wing. They'll get it back out up top. Now go right side to Adam L. Zogby. Loose ball on the floor. Tap to Boyan Arnutovic. Giordano gets sandwiched there. Jeff Smith put him down and helps him up. Now Jeff Smith's one of the uh, uh, newcomers to the sport. Actually played uh, water polo at uh, UCLA. Giordano with a shot and Multani with a save. To be honest, aren't most people newcomers to the sport, John? Well, certainly, certainly <laughs> in the U.S., uh, we we would we would love to have more people picking up the sport when they're 13, 14, 15 years old, and, and the U.S. Federation is working very hard to get more youth involved. But you're right; for the most part, it we have a lot of players uh, in their late teens, early 20s, uh, picking up the sport for the first time after uh, after their career, perhaps in their uh, chosen mainstream sport, has uh, wound down. Or in case of injury, we've had that Alex Mullen, number four for the United States, was a soccer player, then tried rugby, blew out his knee, and found a sport that's more to his liking. So you'll see quite a bit of that. Some of the skills from other sports do transfer, and there is a great shot by Adam L. Zogby, his fourth goal. He has been terrific in this first half. He, he sure has. And, and you can just you can just tell uh, he, he's uh, he lived in Egypt uh, his entire life. He's uh, 23 years old. And he's been playing handball for a long time, and you can just tell, just just the way he moves the ball, the way he handles himself, that he's he's much more experienced than the uh, rest of the American players. Played for Egyptian club Al Ali, but always wanted to play for the U.S. Yeah. team and be a pioneer, and that's what he's doing yeah. there. As you look and, at and Taha he's, and he's, he's also had uh, experience playing with the Egyptian uh, junior and youth teams. So he's even in Egypt, uh, uh, he's a, a well-known player. Uh, it's not like uh, we're not like we're getting one of Egypt's leftovers here. We're actually getting a, a player who can definitely play. As you've seen here in this first half, which is winding down with just over a minute to go, and the U.S. leading the Los Angeles Team Handball Club 9-7 at the UIC Pavilion in Chicago's West Loop. Ken Tomash and John Ryan with you. And the U.S. looking to extend its two-goal lead. El Zogby again to Arnutovic. There's one of those bear hugs I told you you'd see quite a bit of with Jose Fuentes putting the hurt on Boyan Arnutovic. Paul Justin Key now dishes it off, and Arnutovic just misses the mark. Now with 40 seconds left, L.A., do they go for one more shot? Uh, yeah, they can. If, if, they, if they play it right, they can uh, play the uh, end of the half without getting uh, another chance for L.A. You got you to play that closely, though, because you can get called for passive play. 25 ticks left. Fuentes up top. Armin Amerkanian sent to the floor by Ahmed Saad. Amerkanian shot, but he's fouled there, but time is running out. See, this is why the clock rarely stops. 
Will they get a shot off? No, they won't. So first half comes to, to an end. And coming up at halftime, we'll look at highlights of the first half and more. It's Team Handball from Chicago. Stay with us. You're watching Team Handball between the U.S. team and Los Angeles on Comcast Sportsnet. Time for summer school. Now, now, I just want to teach you about my favorite number, zero. Find it easy at Arlington Acre and Palatine. Get a zero down, zero due, zero first payment lease on a new MDX now. Bob Roarman. Nobody beats Bob. Bob Roarman, Arlington Acre and Palatine, just one block west of Route 53 on Dundee Road, Palatine. Tomorrow, the White Sox sail into Seattle to face off with Ichiro Suzuki and the Mariners. Coverage begins at 8.30 with Belco White Sox pregame live. White Sox Mariners, tomorrow night at 8.30 on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. Passionate about justice? A degree in criminal justice from Westwood College is your key to a rewarding career. High-paying jobs in criminal justice are growing faster than average with exciting job opportunities like law enforcement officer, legal investigator, youth probation officer, and more. Call now for Westwood's free career success kit with the latest criminal justice salary information. Westwood provides all the tools you need to get your career going fast. Faculty with real-world experience, hands-on training, field demonstrations in the classroom, plus a bachelor's degree in only three years so you can make a difference sooner westwood college a place where you can succeed call now for westwood's free career success kit call 1-800-657-0934 the eyes you're born with are the ones you keep they don't even grow much think about this many american children may need glasses and don't even know it because the vision screening they get at school isn't enough Eye problems can affect learning and behavior throughout your child's life. But a complete eye exam can change all that. Shouldn't your child see an eye doctor yearly? To learn more and for a list of local eye doctors, go to thinkaboutyoureyes.com. Your child's vision is nothing to play with. If you're struggling to pay your bills, it's time to consider bankruptcy as the solution. I thought I couldn't file for bankruptcy if I have a good job. Wrong. Most people who file are working. What about my credit score? Don't worry. After filing, you can improve your credit score over time. Shouldn't I consolidate my bills and pay a debt settlement company? No. 75% of those programs fail and leave you with your bills and a poor credit score. As the largest bankruptcy firm in the country, we really can help. Just go online to LegalHelpers.com or call 888-7-HELP-US. Welcome back to Chicago, where at halftime, Team USA leads the Los Angeles Team Handball Club by a score of 9-7. to seven. Not quite the high-scoring affair that we sometimes get in this game, but it still was hard fought, and we had some very interesting play here at the UIC Pavilion. I'm Ken Tomash, he's John Ryan, and John, this was the contrast in styles that we expected to see, but it's a little closer than I think some might have thought because of the athletic USA team against a more veteran and a, uh, a Los Angeles team that has a little thinner bench. Yeah. I think, I think if you look at the first half here, I think uh, both teams might have been a little tight. It's not very often that they uh, they play in a, a large arena like this, and it certainly for many it was the first time they've been on TV. So I, I, know, I saw a little tightness there. I saw some shots that should have gone in that were missed, and uh, I'm hoping that, uh, that things loosen up here a little bit in the second half. Well, we did see 16 goals in the first half. Lots of action. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights from the first 30 minutes of play here at the UIC Pavilion. Adam L. Zogby was an outstanding player for the U.S. with four goals, including this little number. For Los Angeles, Jose Fuentes had four goals as well, number eight, as he gets that one past David Thompson. Mariano Molteni has been terrific in goal for Los Angeles. He stops that shot. Mika Manaula, the all-time leading scorer for L.A., buries that seven-meter throw, penalty shot. And Amir Amerkanian, the MVP of the National Club Championships in Las Vegas, finally got on track late in that half and got L.A. within 8-7. to seven. So now what do we expect each team to do in the second half? Well, I think it, the U.S., if they're smart, they'll, they'll, they'll try and open it up a little bit. 
Uh, I think in the at the end of the first half, uh, L.A. was starting to drag a little bit, and I think that's where the young legs, fresh legs that the uh, U.S. has, need to they need to take advantage of that and really push the action. I think L.A. What they want to do is they want to keep the game slow. They want to keep it, uh, you know, keep it in a half court kind of set where they they don't have to get into a running game with the U.S. All right, we'll see what happens. We'll be back with the start of the second half and more after these words. Stay with us. You're watching live team handball from Chicago. Get this new Ford Fusion Motor Trends 2010 Car of the Year for under $16,000 or $199 a month. That's just $199 per month. Hawk Ford can't be beat. Hawk Ford on 95th Street. Hawk Ford, 6100 West 95th Street in Oaklawn or online at hawkford.com. Experience a Cubs game at historic Wrigley Field. Individual tickets are available for upcoming games. Get your tickets now by calling 1-800-THE-CUBS, visiting the Wrigley Field box office, or by logging on to Cubs.com. See you at beautiful Wrigley Field. See Wrigley Field like you never have before. Take a 90-minute behind-the-scenes tour of this legendary ballpark. Now, Chicago Trolley offers convenient transportation to and from Wrigley Field. Purchase tickets by calling 1-800-THE-CUBS or by visiting Cubs.com. You've been wearing that bracelet since junior high? We need to talk to you about this dedicated claims rep thing. Okay. Uh, well, Calling yourselves dedicated? We're all dedicated, okay? The entire website team worked late every night this week. Look at Sanjeev, he's a mess. What? Guys. No. We're called dedicated claims reps because we each stay with an insurance customer throughout the automobile claims process. Uh oh Yeah. It's not because we think we work harder than you. Well, you don't. Am I a mess? You slept in the vending machine. Call today or go to insurance.com. Tuesday, Starlin Castro and the Cubs clash with the Astros at Wrigley. Tune in for a National League showdown as the Cubs look to give Houston a problem. Cubs Astros, Tuesday night at 7 on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. TV helps parents make smart TV choices. I use parental controls to block the bad guys and lock out all those scary monsters for my daughter, all by pressing the menu button. Now that's getting the most out of your service. Direct TV, TV with benefits. Direct TV helps you make family-friendly viewing choices. I use common sense media ratings, so I don't ever have to hear, Mommy, what does mean again? I just go to directtv.com. Now that's getting the most out of your service. Direct TV, TV with benefits. It's time to buy a Hyundai. I'm Roland Gartner. Everybody knows that Gartner Hyundai carries over 500 new Hyundais, including the 2011 Hyundai Sonata. But for the astute bargain hunters, I went out and bought every 2010 Hyundai Sonata I could get my hands on. So when I make a deal, it's going to be a real deal. Save thousands, get maximum cash for your trade, and maximum discounts. Oh yeah, just one more thing. Come on in, because we'll treat you like you own the place. Back at USC Pavilion in Chicago, everybody, where Team USA leads Los Angeles 9-7. Just getting set to start the second half of play. Polish team fans have started to arrive for the second game of this historic doubleheader, which will feature the national teams of Poland and Germany. There you see Germany's iconic coach, Heiner Brand. Very popular among his countrymen. We're just underway now, second half. Team USA in red. And now they're attacking from left to right here in the second half against Los Angeles in blue. And LA, a two-goal deficit to try to make up, which is not insurmountable by any means. We will see plenty more goals before this game is over. We'll see fast breaks like this one. It's over the head of Eric Weller, and he runs right into David Thompson, the goalkeeper, for the U.S. national team. So we talked at halftime, John Ryan, about wanting to maybe see Team USA force the issue a little more and use those fresh legs against a fairly thin Los Angeles bench. This is Carson Chun now, veteran of the Air Force Academy. Adam El Zogby, who had four goals in the first half, and there's a shot and a save by Mario. Oh, now Gabe Goudreau has checked in. So it's Gabe Goudreau in goal now for Los Angeles, the 23-year-old Californian who's in the U.S. national team pool. Multaney played well in the first half and will 
see how Goodrow can do. Ahmed Saad had checked in for the U.S. and was playing, but hadn't taken his warm-up top off yet. Yeah. And we got a we got a penalty shot coming up here. Uh, nice uh, move in the circle there by uh, Jeff Smith uh, gets the uh, gets a penalty shot here for LA. And you'll see Nika yeah. Manula gets his third goal, second on a penalty shot. El Zogby to Carson Chun. Boyan Artnuchevich gets his second goal. When you're 6'7", you can shoot over the top of defenders. And USA is up 10-8. Fuentes now to Amerkanian. Manula. Amerkanian looks inside but dishes off to Fuentes. Now to Luka Ravich. Good El Zogby read that by one Zogby. well. And we've got a fast break. Paul Justin Key bounces it past Goudreau. That's his first goal of the afternoon. 23-year-old Texan and one of several members of this U.S. team who not only went to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, but are active duty personnel. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if, you, if you're wondering why uh, we have so many players from West Point, the, the answer is, is that uh, without question, they've had the dominant uh, college program in team handball for, for decades. Uh, without question, they have the most uh, players uh, of, of caliber and they, they have the most experience. Um, other than maybe perhaps a, a title by Air Force or North Carolina, uh, they have been the class of college competition. There you see Derek Heath, we talked about him, outstanding U.S. international and L.A. on the board again with Jose Fuentes. They see USA trying to press the attack there. Now, Paul Justin Key's feeling it. That's back-to-back -back yeah. goals for him. As soon as you get the ball to half court, you can, you can start play. And just to get back to the military guys for a second, John, uh, some of these guys are involved in what's called the world-class athlete program where guys on active duty can play a showcase sport like this while they're serving in, in an effort to qualify for the Olympics or to, to explore these opportunities. It's a mere sick uh, Gets the goal there for L.A. It did go in, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an opportunity you know, for someone uh, serving in the military to also uh, represent their country. Um, it's, a, it's a great program um, that allows players that experience. Uh, several are over in Germany playing with, uh, with club, club teams, uh, mostly at a lower level if you want to look at it. Uh, there's a steal there by L.A. Lukarevich, Amerkanian. And he got fouled there as he got rid of the ball. Just to, just to continue, uh, it, it, the, the, the guys that are going to be playing in the Germany-Poland game, they're, they're in the major leagues. Most of the U.S. players playing in Germany are playing perhaps the equivalent of single A, maybe a couple in double A, or rookie league ball, if you will. To make a baseball analogy, as we will make several analogies to several different sports yeah. over the course of an afternoon for an American audience that's not really familiar with this emerging sport in this country. Yeah. USA Team Handball is doing a great job of trying to expose the sport to as many as 25,000 kids over the next few years and going to make an attempt to qualify for the London Olympics. This free throw will come here from that broken line at yeah. nine meters after a foul. And Los Angeles with the restart. Shot there by Amarna Amerkanian, turned away by David Thompson. Derek Heath is extolling Carson Chun. He said, get us moving, get us moving. He knows that a two-goal lead at this stage of the game is not comfortable enough. Wants to see ball movement like this. Chun, nicely done, but just missed there by Adam Alzogby, who's looking for his first goal of the second half after four in the first half. And now L.A. with a rare quick transition. Amerkanian has that one stripped from him, but he's fouled. And an even 24 minutes to go. Quick restart. We have, a, we have a charging call there. Opportunity again for uh, USA to, to go on attack. If you're interested in finding out more about Team Handball, visit usateamhandball.org. Maybe start a club in your own 
region or go and check one out find some people who are already playing the game and get involved it's a lot of fun it, it certainly is and, and I know that there's probably uh, some uh, people out there younger age looking at this and saying hey I can play this I, you know I you know I'm as good as those guys out there and uh, what I would say is uh, you know log on to usateamhandball.org find a club there's tryout opportunities they are looking for players the guy who's in the pipes for L.A. at the moment, Gabe Grudrow, was a hockey goalie, and he watched the sport at the Beijing Olympics and said, I'm going to give that a shot. And now he's on the uh, U.S. national team, and he's the most valuable goalie of the national championships. A fast break here, but Emmerkanian was one against the world. Carson Good. Chun comes up with it. Smart move there, getting in the passing lane. Paul Justin Key looking for his third of the half, but he's turned away by Goudreau. Emmerkanian turns, had Manula, but couldn't get it to him. Now he dishes it off to Jeff Smith, and it's saved by David Thompson. Uh, frustration on the young man from San Clemente, California. Jeff Smith, as he was denied, Thompson made himself very big and cut off any lane that Smith might have had to get that one in the net. And, and, and that's, that's inexperience there. He got the ball. He didn't really have time to to gather himself and think about where to shoot. The goalie was right there. It might have been a situation where a, a lob pass, for instance, uh, a lob shot would have worked. Wilder Freed has checked in number 13. Has the ball there on the left wing. It's from Minnesota. Al Zogby into the pivot. That shot stopped by Goudreau. Yeah. Nice pass, and uh, he's fouled on the shot, so we're going to get a, uh, a penalty shot. Looks like El Zogby is uh, going to take it. Adam El Zogby. Had four goals in the first half. And his first of the second half puts Team USA up 13 to 10. Luka Ravich with a bullet, and it's stopped by David Thompson. Thompson looked long down court, yeah. but instead will just go the easy route. Yeah, I, LA probably wants to work it a little bit more on their possession. Uh, yeah, that was a quick shot that plays more into the U.S. style of play. Carson Chun now. Adam El Zogby. Ahmed Saad. Saad muscling his way in, and that shot was just a bit outside. Yeah, he was fouled. Another Egyptian, Ahmed Saad. 6'5 and 235. He is a house. Now El Zogby. Back out top to Carson Chun. Exactly 21 minutes left in the game. And Chun never did get that shot off. They actually kind of slipped it around his, his backside, but they, uh, they had blown the whistle. Restart from nine meters. Chun running the show again to Saad. Al Zogby gets up high and goes top shelf. Adam El Zogby, the star of this match for Team USA with six goals. They lead it 14-10. Back at the other end, it's Jeff Smith with a goal for Los Angeles, his first of the afternoon. Now things are starting to open up a little bit. Derek Heath here right in front of us, making substitutions, giving encouragement, talking strategy. And now sending T.J. Giordano back into the match. He's number 19 with the ball now, another one of those Army guys. In fact, he's got a purple heart. There's, uh, they're not only... No, actually, I think that's, uh, that's uh, Trevor Williams, actually. Uh, you're right. You're right. Giordano is an Army guy, but it's Trevor Williams, number 40, who has the Purple Heart. Yeah. In fact, uh, it, him and uh, two other teammates uh, um, both had tours in Iraq, and uh, Trevor got his uh, Purple Heart uh, result of shrapnel from an uh, uh, improvised explosive device. Team USA leads LA 14-11. We're under 20 minutes to go here in the second half from the Pavilion at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Ken Tomash and John Ryan with you on Comcast Sportsnet. Now LA here, Just gonna have to whittle away at this three goal lead. Get one and then they're gonna need a defensive stop at the other end. Emmer Kanian tried to force his way inside and then dish to the wing, it didn't work. Wilder Freed on the break, number 13, and Freed has that one stopped by Goudreau, but the follow-up by Alex Mullen goes. Mullen gets his first of the afternoon. And, that, and that's the type of uh, action that the USA team wants, uh, force the issue. They were back. They were there for the rebound. L.A. was, uh, was a little bit slow getting back there. 
So now it's a four goal disadvantage for Los Angeles in blue. Hinson loses the handle and LA has to watch as the oh. US team botches a break. Yeah, and, 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 and they were, they had numbers, they should have had a wide open shot. Emmerkanian dishes it off to Fuentes and Fuentes' shot goes wide. Now Mark Ortega will check in, their number 11. As we said, he plays his club ball for Los Angeles. In fact, was on their national championship team a couple of months ago, but here he is for Team USA. And he's also played overseas in uh, Norway and uh, Germany. He's the, uh, he's the old man on the squad. At 31, he dishes that one off, and Giordano's shot is saved by Goudreau. Bounces over into the corner. And somebody's going to have to find the ball. There we go. Now L.A. moving with a sense of determination down four goals. They have to keep in contact here, otherwise uh, this game could get out of hand. Manula, Hinson, Fuentes, will he take the shot? No, but Veller will from the right wing. Eric Veller with his first goal of the game. Gets him within three at 15-12. The ironic thing, John, is one of the things that helped Los Angeles win the national championship was a very deep bench in Las Vegas, but they don't have all of those players available today. They don't have a deep bench, so that may hurt them in the latter minutes of this game. Yeah, it, it sure will. The, the other thing though, that, that helps them a little bit is this is a one-off game as opposed to a uh, weekend-long tournament. Ortega dishes inside, and the shot there by Wilder Freed, but he got fouled. Patrick Trunniger trying to come up with some strategy with 17 minutes left. Mark Ortega, part of that strategy. Some fresh legs at the center back position. Marco Dumilia is in as well, number 14 for Team USA. Giordano fakes the shot. Oh, into the pivot and just a standing pass into the into the pivot there by Adam Elzogby. Jason Borchik just got hammered there. There you see him, number 10, six foot six, 22 years old from Ohio. Watch this action in the pivot if you think this game's not physical. Great dish, but at your peril. And El Zogby misses another seven meter throw. He realizes it's just one of those days sometimes. Sometimes the ball just won't go in. And he's also going against Gabe Goodrow, who is a terrific keeper. LA still in this one, down by three. The US national team with a three goal advantage with just over 16 minutes left in the second half. Dished off to Mika Manula. Michael Hinson now. Right wing to Fuentes. Fuentes finds himself locked in a battle there with Marco Dumlila. Quick restart as Derek Heath tries to get more out of his troops in red. And you see now they got uh, TJ Giordano, a uh, recent West Point glad he's out there playing the, the point. And Manula's shot is kick saved there by David Thompson. He just stuck out the boot and it stuck right to it. 15 and a half minutes to play in this one. And the outcome still very much in doubt with only a three-point lead for the Americans in red. Oh El Zogby, Ortega, dishes to Giordano and a kick saved by Goudreau, but the U.S. team has it back. Adam El Zogby, dish into the pivot there, and Borchik fouled by Manula. Mark Ortega now. Exactly 15 minutes left in the second half. Ortega with a shot and he scores. His first shot of the game puts it past Goudreau and extends the lead to 16 to 12. Now Mika Manula gets it back from Amon Armarcanian and Fuentes' shot goes high and into the net behind the goal. And with a continuous run clock, uh, you have to move quickly to get back into a game. You don't get the benefit of timeouts to catch your breath or plot strategy. Each team does have a timeout. They can take, but they haven't yet. Now Trevor Williams is into the match. Number 40 in red in the pivot. We talked about him, the soldier with the purple heart. See if they try to pick him out. Ortega can't dish to him, but finds out Zogby and his shot is saved by Goudreau. Play offense. Here we go. Play offense. 
Ortega now. Ortega gets up and just misses the post. LA looking to cut into this four goal disadvantage. Andres Espinosa there was fouled. Yeah, yeah it might have looked like a, a clean, clean steal, but uh, with the with the rules of handball, you pretty much uh, the guy has it in his hands, and you knock it out. Uh, nine times out of ten, they're just going to give him the ball right back. Well, we talked about limited timeouts. Each team has one, and LA has taken theirs. There you see Derek Heath, and when you're such we're such a great player. Uh, you really expect a lot out of the team that plays for you. Derek Heath, no different. Yeah, absolutely. Derek is uh, very committed to handball, uh, not only as a player, but uh, also in Atlanta. He's very active in working with uh, youth players. Um, just a, the type of, the type of uh, uh, committed people we need if we're ever going to you know, grow the sport in this country. So people giving their time working with younger players, trying to get them involved in this great sport. Uh, Polish fans filing in now, getting ready for the big grudge match that will follow this one. Uh, the rematch of the 2007 World Championship game, which was won by the Germans. So after the timeout, LA down 16-12. You see the time remaining, 13-20, as Armin Amerkanian tries to spin that oh, one in and does. Outstanding. He can do it with power, but he can do it with yeah. sleight of hand as that, well. And, and, and it takes it takes a long time to learn how to do a shot like that. Watch this. Here comes the science. Just working that spin is uh, it's certainly something I never was able to learn how to do. And you really need that sort of uh, shot in your repertoire, especially on the wing, because uh, the goalie can get real big there with the no angle. Power and finesse. Giordano gets that one back and buries it. That's his first goal, T.J. Giordano. Yeah. Recent West Point grad, he's actually going to deploy to Afghanistan uh, later this year. 17-13, Team USA leads the Los Angeles Team Handball Club, the national club champions of this year. And their big gun, Amarna Mercanian to Jose Fuentes, who scores. Fuentes' is sixth goal of the game. Keeps it at a three-goal game. We've been going back for the last several minutes with USA not being able to pull away. Down in the corner, Dumilia. Up top, Ortega. Oh, set up Ryan Walsh there, and Walsh's shot went high, but he was sent to the floor. Walsh, a New Yorker, nicknamed Cyborg, so that little spill won't hurt him at all. Maybe damage a couple of parts, but he'll be, I'll just replace him and he'll be back. Not too many steps there. A lot like basketball, you can take yeah. three steps and then he you get three dribble. steps, he took, he took a one, a little bit too many there. Uh, off the pivot, uh, each time you move your step there, you move your foot there, it counts as a step. LA can score here, they will cut it to two. Manola dumps it into the post. Yeah. And Andres Espinosa gets hammered. Yeah. And, and you'll see this on seven meter throws sometimes where teams will switch goalkeepers specifically for the throw just to kind of change things up a little bit. We got Dexter Wise going in. And there's a lot of different strategies using the goals. He's sticking back, but you'll see a lot of other goalies come up to that nice stop. And the strategy pays off. Yeah. They'll actually come up to the uh, small little white dot there and get three meters from the shooter and uh, to cut off all angle. Manola not thrilled with himself for missing that one. And Dexter Wise's task done for the moment. David Thompson returns to the fray and Team USA still leads by three, 11 minutes to go in the game. Top to Walsh. And a foul in the pivot there as Trevor Williams was in a three-man sandwich. Make sure we engage. Walsh. Get back, get back, get back. And steps again. They say you get three steps in handball as opposed to the, the two steps you might be familiar with in, uh, in basketball. It allows a little bit more uh, movement after your uh, last dribble. There's a lot of different ways to move that 
ball around. It's about the Excellent size of a kill. Here's El Zogby on the break. Floats in for the goal. Adam El Zogby's seventh goal of the day. And with 10 minutes left, he's finally given the U.S. a four goal advantage. Watch it again. Fakes once at the six meter line and then floats it past Gabe Goudreau. Jamil Abdullah. Amar number Kanian was finding the going tough there on the left wing, thanks to Wilder Freed. Taha Youssef now with the ball number 10 in blue to Armin Amerkanian. Back to Youssef. Now LA's moving the ball very quickly, but Team USA sniffed that one out, and here they come on the break. It's four on three. Ortega scores, but no, nope, he stepped nope, in. Nope, stepped on the line. Yep. Got to have back. good body control. And back the other way, Amerkanian again with the spin move. Nice, nice control there with the body. That, that was a very difficult shot. So it's not just a fluke. <laughs> Spun that one in twice now. Ortega now from nine meters. Dishes it off to Walsh. Tried to get it inside to Trevor Williams. Foul called. Quick restart. Antoine Bowie has the goalie out and an easy open netter for Antoine Bowie. Just five foot five. He proves you don't have to be huge to play this game. And now it's a two goal lead for the Americans. Scoreboard says 18-16. Ortega. Stepping inside and spinning nice. it in is Adam L. Zogby. He does it every which way, doesn't he? He certainly does. Power, finesse. A player to watch, number two for the U.S. national team. Muris Lukarevich gets introduced to this snap sports court, which was trucked in from Utah for this occasion. Now, David Thompson will restart things for the Americans. Brian Walsh gets it to Paul Justin Key on the wing. Those two will play on the left side. Mark Ortega up top with Adam L. Zogby and Wilder Freed now on the, down in the right corner. Ortega lost his footing. Passive play warning in effect. A save Blair, but offensive player stepped into that six meter area. And now LA. Again, down by three, but with a spring in their step as they realize they have a long way to go in a short time to get there with just seven minutes left. Outstanding. Oh, it looked like Thomp uh, hey. Thompson had made the save, and he had, but it... Hey, you look at you look at uh, Wilder Freed and uh, Ozogby saying, you got him, I got him. He just splits it right between them and then uses the spin right by the goalie. And you, you, can, you can tell he's got over 200 international games experience now. Iran is not a, a handball power by any stretch like Germany and Poland, but they do take the sport seriously there. There's see Paul Justin Key, another Army guy. Here's Ortega now. Gets it into the pivot. And Alex Mullen. This is a big possession here for LA. They can cut, cut the lead down to one. Mika Manola now has moved out up top from his normal wing position. The restart will come here. Fuentes restarts it to Manola. Lukarevich can't get past Brian Walsh. Patrick Trunniger's team can get within one. We had a foul first. As Taha Youssef. Forced his way in there. Here's Yusuf. Yep, turnover. In too many steps there. So uh, an opportunity goes by the boards for Los Angeles as they had a chance to cut it to one. 
But as long as they can make a defensive stop at this end, got something going. Ortega now. And again, Team USA inefficient on offense and giving Los Angeles chances to get back into this game. Five minutes left, they're only up two. Yeah, and if the, and if, the, if the game is close, the experience of the LA team could be a big factor. They're, they're familiar with playing with each other. The, the likelihood that they're gonna turn the ball over in a set offense is, is less, much less likely. Fuentes tied up there by Jason Borchik. And Fuentes lets the referee know as they'll go back into Fuentes who scores and cuts it to one. 19-18. Look at it again. Fuentes has been the man in the middle. And despite having Mark Ortega on him, he finds the back of the net. Yeah. Every, every pass here counts. It, it, and this is where it's very important to be familiar with who you're playing with because just the pass being off a little bit results in a turnover, a little bit less quality shot. And now here we have an opportunity to tie it. After Goodrow makes the nice save, Los Angeles can tie this game up with just under four minutes to play. It's USA 19, Los Angeles 18. They have to be deliberate, but they can't be passive about it. They can't stall. Armin Emmerkanian. And we have a two-minute penalty. And here is our first two-minute penalty call of the day. And Mark Ortega is being sent off. Now, Team USA has to play a man down for two minutes, regardless of how many goals Los Angeles scores. It's not like in hockey where your man gets free uh, if, you, if the other team scores a goal. Los Angeles with the man advantage and a chance to tie this game up, but David uh, Thompson has other ideas with that save. And not a smart shot there uh, from L.A. With the man advantage, they should be looking for a better shot. T.J. Giordano over, may have overcommitted there. Is that uh, one hits know, side again, you know, it's, it's tough to play uh, right-handed from that position. you, you got to shoot across your body. You're down there on the wing. Um, USA, in it, when you're down a man, they should be happy every single time to have uh, uh, a shot there from the wing. There's only going to be about a minute and a half left when Mark Ortega's suspension is over. And Team USA leads, but it's only a one-goal cushion. Here is Giordano now, trying to muscle his way inside, but we had a whistle before that. And, and this will be very key now is when the refs will decide to call the passive play. Again, it's up to their discretion. We'll whip that one in the corner to Paul Justin Key. Key tied up there by Antoine Bowie. Derek Heath is yelling at them. Play, play. Oh, big says, shot. How about this, coach? And that's, that's where experience comes to play. Gives his team a two-point lead with his ninth goal of the game. Watch him. Left-handed and a haircut. Well, LA's got to score here, and now we'll have... Yeah, the, the, the clock has stopped here. We're going to mop up here. 2.02 left. 2.02 left. So LA down two. Desperately need a goal here, and then to make a stop at the other end, have a chance to tie this one up. Armin Amerkanian. Luka Ravich scores. There's the goal he needed. Only Lukarevich is second of the match, but it gets it's a key one as it comes with under two minutes to go and cuts the lead to one. Now they need a big defensive stop here. Uh, there's about 20 seconds left in the penalty. Ortega Maybe. will be free in just a few seconds. Uh, they're trying to stall it out, but they, they, need to, they need to force the attack here. Ortega back onto the floor. We're back to six on six in front of the goalkeepers. And Derek Heath screaming for his team to attack. Key tried to spin that one in, nothing doing. L.A. can tie it on this trip with 116 left. Armin Amerkanian loses the handle. It's a loose ball on the floor and a scramble for it at midcourt, picked up by Ortega. Nice, pass nice flip off. to Paul Justin Key, and Key can ice it. 
Paul Justin Key as the American bench erupts as and once again the, the clock stopped uh, for uh, it looked like there was an energy uh, about penalty I mean I'm sorry an injury and it's about a minute left in the game now just under a minute left and USA's lead is now 21 to 19. They've got to score quickly here. Luke, Luke Arevich's shot is saved by David Thompson, who's been stalwart in goal. This can end it. It does. And it does. Alex Mullen with the icing on the cake. Gives the U.S. a 22 to 19 lead with under 30 seconds to go. And the last few seconds of this one will tick off and the U.S. will give Coach Derek Heath a victory that was not easy, but it'll feel good. And just to cap the game off, Alex Mullen gets his second in the last minute or so and that'll do it. So Team USA holds off a determined Los Angeles Team Handball squad and beats them 23 to 19, an exciting match. We hope you enjoyed that one and that you'll stick around for the second match. But we've got much more coming up from this one. From the URC Pavilion, we'll talk to one of the stars of this game. You're watching Team Handball on Comcast Sportsnet. Your wallet is filled with valuable things. Your identity, your money, your credit, even your memories. you ride the most valuable thing in your wallet is your law tigers biker benefit card because with this card and the law tigers you never ride alone the law tigers chicago lands injury lawyers who ride one down one, one down, down. Oh, okay. more to go. Comcast Sportsnet has your back. Catch us on Sportsnet and see us on Chicago.com. Comcast Sportsnet, fans' best friend. I remember dating and dating and one after the other that was just unsuccessful. And, and I had a friend say, look, this e harmony thing, it works. You should try it. It gave me hope because I'm like, you know what? It's not the method that I've been using. It's, it's something new. It's something different. eHarmony provides that way to meet somebody you're compatible with. When you're with the right person, and you're like, wow, this is exciting. Feel the difference of being matched based on 29 dimensions of compatibility. And now review those matches free at eHarmony.com. Tune in to Comcast Sportsnet as the Sox make a second half push for October. Primed for a return to the playoffs. A strong pitching core mixed with a balanced offensive attack looks to carry them to kings of the AL Central. It's White Sox baseball, and the most games are on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. Welcome back to Chicago. Team USA holds off the Los Angeles Team Handball Club by a final score of 23 to 19. We're glad that you joined us this afternoon for today's game from the UIC Pavilion and the Polish fans. They're getting ready because Poland and Germany is coming up in the second half of this doubleheader. A great international grudge match between two world powers and the UIC Pavilion should be packed and very enthusiastic for uh, handball played at its very highest level. That will follow this one. This was an entertaining match as well as Team USA, which had not played together uh, in a while, uh, held off the Los Angeles team that had just won the national championship back in May in Las Vegas. And now they're getting the accolades and getting the team picture in goal. You see the man in the center there was Adam Elzogby, who we'll be talking to in a minute, the most valuable player of today's game with nine goals. As an entertaining undercard sets the stage for the Poland-Germany match that is to follow in a little more than a half hour here in Chicago. And Adam Alzogby is making his way over to the table as Poland takes the court to the delight of their fans. Here is Adam Alzogby, our most valuable player today. Adam, congratulations. This was a, a, a fun game, it looked like. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was. First time for me to play in the U.S. I guess first time for all the guys to play in, the, in our country. So, yeah, it was fun. It was really nice. Was it a little harder than you guys thought? I mean, L.A. really put up a good fight. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a bit hard, especially that we just like uh, we trained for like four four days, so we didn't play together too much. Why LA they've been playing too much, 
with each other like for a year and they're the national uh, champions so yeah your background you're egyptian yeah but you were born in america yeah exactly so you wanted to play for the u.s tell me how that came about uh, well I, I played for uh, the egyptian national team right. uh, for like six years seven years i was the captain of the juniors team in two world cups but then uh, like uh, when i heard like, the usa team handball is trying to rise once more uh, i felt like they need me more than uh, egypt uh, I have like new goals with the team. I want to play the Pan America. I want to qualify to the World Cup, to the Olympics. So I thought I can do that with the USA team handball. Obviously, uh, playing in Egypt, you're you're more exposed to it. Exactly. Uh, at what age did you start playing? Uh, at like uh, eight or seven. <laughs> Is that where you learn moves yeah. like that? Yeah, exactly. I've been playing for like uh, uh, 15, 16 years. So can this game take hold in this country? Do you think? Absolutely, absolutely. Like. Like it's it, it's really fun. There's a lot of contact, a lot of uh, fighting in the game, a lot of a lot of goals. It's a fast uh, sport, not like soccer. Not, it's not a boring sport. A lot of goals. Like you can have like 50 goals in each game. So yeah, I, I absolutely, if it's exposed right and it's uh, like uh, have like a, a high exposure to the to uh, to the U.S. citizens over here, they're gonna like it. it it's, it's yeah, I'm sure about that. If anybody's watching this, what kind of skills? make a good handballer uh, it's speed like it, it's more about like uh, like physical uh, fitness like you have to be uh, fast you have to be mentally uh, ready to like take decisions in like uh, less than a second explosive power a lot of like yeah it's a mixture of everything with the athletes that we have here in America how high do you think the, the limit could be for the US national yeah, team? Yes, like like I've been to a camp last year in Germany with the team like it was for one week and the the guys just they, they they're mentally ready to to like to learn like uh, they learn a lot of stuff in one week so uh, I, I felt it I felt it like they they got better in a week one week we were like I was teaching some guys some moves and then by the end of the camp they did it in the last game so that's really fast I was really surprised and I was really happy with that uh, fast learning the goal is to qualify for London in 2012 or maybe Rio in 2016 are those uh, realistic well, no, goals? I, I don't think we have a shot for 20 uh, 2012 but I, I, we, I guess we can do it in the World Cup 2013 and then 2015 and then the Olympics of uh, 2016. What's it going to take for that to happen? Though? So just we need we need some like some attention. We need like uh, some camps. We need to go to play the Canada game uh, to start rolling and, uh, and have more experience. The, the guys just need to just play more and have a lot of lo more experience. If we if we have this chance, if they just give us this chance. We have we, we we're already missing like six good players, right? Like we're not full team, so I guess we have a very good shot to qualify uh, with at least uh, Argentina and Brazil as a third team for the Pan America to the World Cup. We have a good chance. I so it's an, there's an untapped reservoir of athletic talent that could do well for the sport in this country. In the yeah, future. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Today's game. Uh, you look. Did you have family here? Did you have people watching? Uh, yeah, I have my uncle. He's in New Jersey, so and I have a couple of friends in Washington D.C. Uh, I told them about the game. I hope they watch it. <laughs> I hope everyone watched the game, had fun. Uh, so that's all, yeah. And you'll see, we'll see Germany and Poland coming up after this. Those guys play. That's a totally, that's a great absolutely, high level. Absolutely, absolutely. Very high level handball. That it's fun to watch, and you can we can learn from uh, these players. So yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations, Adam Elzog. Be nine goals in today's game. You were tremendously fun to watch. We appreciate Thank your you. time. Thank congratulations you. on being the, the most valuable player. One thing you learn if you shake hands with a handballer. Yeah. They have to the stick them all over them. So maybe think better. Maybe we'll just fist bump. Yeah. How about that. All right, that's Adam. It. Okay. Thanks. Adam Elzog. We'll be back with more after this break. Don't go Thanks away. Thanks a lot. Thanks, brother. Join Menards this week in saluting our American-made products with Menards Made in the USA sale. Ideal garage doors are made in Troy, Ohio, and have offered exceptional durability and quality construction since 1963. Five-star doors qualify for an energy tax credit, and they feature maintenance-free pre-finished white steel inside and out. A 9x7 is $358. A 16x7 is $598. Plus, right now, all Ideal special order garage doors are on sale. Save big money at Menards. Tonight, the premier Chicago sports show with the best local coverage of your favorite Chicago sports teams is GMC Sports Night. The largest sports staff in the city goes in-depth on everything that matters to the true Chicago sports fan. GMC Sports Night, tonight on Comcast Sportsnet. 
cruising with the new ultimate turkey and bacon guacamole. Next stop, Delicious Town. Tantalizing turkey, sizzling bacon, melted moderate cheddar, creamy guacamole. The new Subway ultimate turkey and bacon guacamole. Crank up the flavor at Subway. There are a lot of ways to get past that 2.30 feel. Get another cup of coffee. A little cold water on the face. More coffee? <sighs> Whatever that is. Or take one five-hour energy. People choose five-hour energy over six million times per week. It's quick, effective, and made to help hardworking people like you get past yeah, their 2.30 or 3.30 or 4.30. Five-hour energy, hours of energy now, no 2.30 feeling. Right now at the Dodge 10 event, when you buy a new Charger, Journey, or Grand Caravan, Dodge will give you 60 days to decide if you want to keep it. They'll even cover your payments. This event could not be more amazing. Oh, wait, there's a monkey. I stand corrected. Or, as an alternative to 60-day offers, get 0% financing for 60 months, plus $1,000 bonus cash on Grand Caravan. If you're struggling to pay your bills, it's time to consider bankruptcy as the solution. I thought I couldn't file for bankruptcy if I have a good job. Wrong. Most people who file are working. What about my credit score? Don't worry. After filing, you can improve your credit score over time. Shouldn't I consolidate my bills and pay a debt settlement company? No. 75% of those programs fail and leave you with your bills and a poor credit score. As the largest bankruptcy firm in the country, we really can help. Just go online to LegalHelpers.com or call 888-7-HELP-US. The UIC Pavilion starting to fill up as fans of Germany and Poland have arrived for the Battle of Chicago. The teams are on the court, and very shortly we will have the second match of our doubleheader, a rematch of the 2007 World Championship game. Germany won that one on home soil, but neither team able to medal in the 2009 World Championships. And so this will be a rare opportunity for fans of both teams in the States to get to see their heroes live and close up. And it's going to be an outstanding matchup between two fantastic teams. So stick around later on today. We'll have the Battle of Chicago for you. Germany against Poland. Bogdan Venta is the Polish coach. He was a legendary figure in Polish team handball and then went, took German citizenship and played several times for the German national team. But he's been coaching his homeland since 2004. And he will be leading his side today against Team Germany coming up in just about a half hour or so. So we had fun in the first game as the USA men's national team defeated the national champions from Los Angeles by a final score of 23 to 19. Adam L. Zogby was the most valuable player of that match for the US with nine goals. We're gonna see several goals in our second game as we've got some of the world's best athletes playing on both of these sides. Teams that play in a, in a very high level leagues in, in Europe. Now the USA players this week, they've been training, but they've also been very busy trying to give something back to the game. And these coaches uh, have something to give back to the game, but the Team USA players were helping out at a coach's clinic here this week. They were very active and uh, helping coaches learn more about how to teach the game to the next generation of young stars. So that was going on here at uh, the UIC Pavilion. And maybe someday some of the kids that see this game or get exposed to this sport through their school or a local club will grow up and be able to play on the international stage like these guys. As you see them warming up now as Germany and Poland are getting set to play in just about a half hour. Here you see the coaching clinic. This took place yesterday here at the UIC Pavilion with Team USA players uh, helping out. And these coaches are going to take this knowledge that they learned here Oh, this week in Chicago, take it back to their regions all across the country and be better to able to teach the game to the next generation of young developing athletes. See the Team USA players acting as uh, practice players for that as Germany's team just beginning their warm ups. We'll be taking a break here in just a second as you. All right, folks, uh, we'll be back with game two shortly. We hope you enjoyed game one as Team USA beat Team Los Angeles 23 
to 19. We'll join you in a bit as Germany and Poland do battle. This has been a production of USA Team Handball. Hope you enjoyed it. For John Ryan and our entire crew, I'm Ken Tomasz saying just goodbye for now, but we'll be back to Chicago in a bit.